Hi everyone, we're Team Quebec and our design brief was the politics of Wikipedia. But most importantly for all of you, we are the last group, so we're almost there. <laughs> so our brief is all about combining Wikipedia and Twitter data to relate articles and edits to tweets and trends. The result is our project, which we like to call TwigFeed. So the data flow looks like this. Up on the top left, the trends are sourced from either user input or from the trending list on Twitter. It makes its way through our processing pipeline, where we do some stuff to it, which I'll, I'll explain a bit more in detail in a few minutes. And then it makes its way through and is presented to the user in the web UI over there. Everything's written in Java, apart from the web bit, which is written in JavaScript and HTML. So, we start off at the core. It's the entry point, it sources trends, and it starts threads to process those trends. The easiest way to look at this is to take an example trend. So does anyone know what was on Saturday? Pokemon Day. Yes, people who definitely aren't in my group. <laughs> it was Pokemon Day. So naturally, hashtag gotta catch em all was trending. Let's follow that and see what happens to it as we go through. Its first stop after the core is the Twitter processing module. This module fetches a sample of tweets from that trend and tries to analyze the content to pick out concepts that we can use to identify Wikipedia articles. So what happens to our example? Well, it realizes, hey, a lot of people are tweeting about this Pokemon thing when they tweet this hashtag. It adds that to the list of concepts along with some other stuff, gets us some sample of tweets that we can display later, and then passes it along to the Wikipedia processing module. And this is akin to the Twitter processing module, except for Wikipedia articles. So it uses this concept list to try and find related articles. So we'd hope that this module would go, hey, Pokemon, there's a Pokemon Wikipedia article. I'm going to add that to my results list. So it does this for all of the concepts and gets us articles and edits that we can view. And then finally, it passes it along to the database and UI modules. Everything gets stored in a big MySQL database, and later on, the end user can view this through the web UI. This is the profit stage where you get to view all your Pikachus. And now Stuart will talk a bit about what an end user can expect. So here's the result. This is our web-based user interface. On the left, you'll see a list of trends for a specified location. Here it's Australia. These can be sorted. The user is then selected the gotta catch more trend that Richard was just speaking about. Then, on the right, you'll see a list of Wikipedia articles that we have deemed related to this trend. These can also be sorted by various parameters. The user has then selected Pokemon. Then in the centre, the article is displayed for the user to read. The user can also browse Wikipedia as if they were on the website itself, but stay within the application. Another source of information we provide is article edits. This allows the user to see which part of the Wikipedia article they're looking at have been updated to reflect the events underlying the trend. So here, we can see that for Cristiano Ronaldo, his tally of goals has been updated. This is because he is trending through scoring goals in a recent football match. Another feature we provide is the tweets. These are the tweets for the trend that the user has selected. This gives them a basic entry point into the trend, so they know the basic information relating to it, which they can then build upon through looking at the articles which we supply. One final feature is custom trends. This is for when a user wants to learn about an event that is not supplied by Twitter. They can input the trend, trend in the top right corner. This is then processed by the server as if it was a trend sourced from Twitter itself, all the same content is then returned. So here, we've given our favorite city as a custom trend. We've got back a list of articles and selected the article for the university, which is proudly displayed in the center of the screen. We'd like to thank our client and all of you for listening. We've been Twixed. Thank you.